Did you see that fight with Tom Wilson and Zidane O'Chara last night? Yeah. I, I don't care if Zidane O'Chara is 57 years old. Like, that's got to be terrifying, no? Yeah. I have more appreciation for Wilson, and the other guy will be 43 in a few months. Yeah. Like, could you imagine squaring? And, like, he is... Wilson can go, and he's, yeah. you know, of course, he's big and he's young, and you get in there, and he looked like a child fighting. <laughs> and, well, Wilson, I think, started it with the cross check. Absolutely. Did he not? Yeah, I mean, the play was going up ice, so it was kind of tough to yeah, tell. Yeah, the camera panned back. That was, that was two giant men going at it. That is one of the bigger heavyweight and, fights of all time. And you know what, though, Brian? Like, as much as fighting's gone out of the game, there was... U.S. news outlets talking about it. Like it was, you know, again, you know, we don't focus on it very much. A lot of, like every sports show had it on as a highlight. Oh, yeah. Do you think that's because of Chara, Ray? Like who he is and his age, his size? Well, yes, but, but also the size of the other guy, too. I mean, like if someone's like, hey, Chara's fighting, and they look at it, it's like two brontosauruses fighting. Like, look, <laughs> when they went back to the corner, I <laughs> Look at these guys. Enormous guys. I, I'll tell you, I, I always looked at those guys. Like, today I walked in the rink and I walked by Brian McGrath. And I'm like, yeah, the man, beast. he is a monster. He's so big. And I'm like, when those guys would fight, you'd sit there and you'd watch them fight. And just, I don't know, I would have in my head, like, how do they do it? And he loved and then, it. Oh, right? And they'll be like, oh, yeah, I got to go tomorrow. You know, you know we know this guy's going to, and you're like, oh. No, thank you. I'll I'll worry about getting a power play marker. No at some kidding, point. crazy. You know what? I when I saw that Chara and Wilson fight, did you see that? Uh, I think Duthie on Twitter talked those two mooses fighting, yes. like locking horns, and the guy doing the play by play. That's all I could think of. It was that type of altercation. Yeah, yeah. Ma, I... there's still mooses or <laughs> buffaloes or something. <laughs> Uh, I, I was awesome. Yeah. I think if you were to put, we should do this, calculate like the height and weight of those two last night. I think it'd be tough to find a, a bigger heavyweight in NHL history, like featuring two guys. Like Wilson, 6'5", 240, well, 230. Like, Chara, 6'8". Yeah. Well, but Nick yeah, Sorley, Sorley, I was going to say, you go Brashear. back in Semenko and Brashear and Were they, yeah. Were, were, yeah, they were. They were 6'5", 240, I guess. They were Wilson. Who, ben, was, who was Chara? Ben Wilson. Do you remember Ben Wilson, Ray? Oh, yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Like, these guys, like, like you go and shake some of these guys. Like, that Frank Mahovlich and, like, guys like that are scouts nowadays. Yeah. Pat Quinn. Like, think of how big Pat Quinn was. I know. But Pat was, like, 6'3". I'm not downplaying the right. size of these other guys. I guess what I'm saying is, in 2019, you wouldn't expect... You're, you're right. Like, two monsters. And chiseled. Like, they, like... Tom Wilson is a huge man. Well, remember the clip when he was in uh, playing against San Jose over the weekend, and Thornton's like, you wouldn't fight Kane. And he's like, you don't think I'd fight Kane? Yeah. Like, watch this. I'm playing Boston <laughs> in a few days. Yeah. Like, if you fight Char, you're fighting anybody in the league. Yeah. Wilson would fight anybody. And I you agree. think he's 43. Yep. Yeah. And had, had enough, too. Like, I actually, I love the fact, like, Chara, that's a leader. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna do it myself here. I don't need David Backus to come in here or anybody else. Like I don't I take exception. That was an emotional fight. That wasn't a, a staged fight. He didn't like what Wilson did to him, so he took care of it himself. Yep. Now, well, don't forget last year that guy played with a broken jaw in the finals. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> like I, I don't know. <laughs> I was half expecting him to have one of those strings that went around the top of his head under his jaw and just tied it all together. Yeah. And he came out there and they had the cage on him, and you're like, I, I don't, I don't know, man. The guy is um, an incredible, incredible specimen.